What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and today we're going to unbox these guys. These are the ear pods that are available now are going to be included with the brand new iPhone 5. Apple said they are three years in development to make music sound good inside of your ears. Let's go ahead and test them out, unbox them, and see how they all work. Alright, so here is the box with the ear pods on them. Uh, it's going to set you back $29, but if you pick up an iPhone, you're going to get essentially what's inside that travel case in the box. In case you're wondering what models the microphone here is going to support, remote mic uh, supported by current generation iPod Nano, iPod Classic, iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad. If you don't have one of those models or you just want to use a different phone or video player, uh, no problem, of course, the audio part of those will still work. Go ahead and take this out of the plastic. That just fell right out. Uh, it uses it in here like this. Um, so push off side for just a minute, see what else we're going to get in the box. Ear pods with remote and mic. I mean, how much instruction do you need for earphones? Put in ear, listen to music, uh, plug into device, and that's it. All right, so here are the ear pods. Apple said these were about three years in the making. So for three years, should be pretty impressive. Um, relatively light, kind of cheap feeling plastic case, but they do come with a case, which is better than we've seen with previous stuff. Uh, so pull that off and let's start the unraveling. Doo, 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 doo. I'll entertain you with music. Um, the cord feels exactly like the cord from uh, previous generation uh, ear pods or earphones, whatever you want to call them. And here are the ear pods, ear pods themselves. Uh, a bit of an odd design you can see. This is really where uh, Apple spent their time. Uh, not necessarily what was inside of here, which is a paper cone with a little bit of a magnet. Uh, but how this actually sits inside of the ear. Uh, there isn't any sort of cushion uh, on top of these, it's just plastic inside of your ear. I'm gonna put these guys in my head and see how they feel. All right, so I've got the ear pods plugged into an iPhone. We'll go ahead and put them in. Uh, very clear which side goes in which ear. You're not gonna be able to reverse these. So go ahead and pop them in. They sit kind of strange in there since I mentioned there's no sort of cushion, you just have plastic in your ears. It's not uncomfortable at first, but I can imagine over a long period of time uh, they might start to hurt your ears a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on some music, and I have already listened to these, um, but just to give a bit of a comparison and see how they look. Um, they're not falling out of my head, so I do a little jump around, you know, they're not going to uh, fall out, so if you're walking, you're having a conversation, uh, you're going to be absolutely fine. Uh, from an audio quality standpoint, they definitely sound better than the earphones that were included with previous generation iPhones or iPod Touches, but they don't sound incredibly awesome. Uh, they're not going to sound better than your Beats or your over-the-ear headphones. They sound better than the free ones. Uh, so if you're looking for a little bit of improved audio performance, uh, it's probably going to be a good way to go. A little bit better bass, uh, but not a giant amount. You're not looking at huge, huge, huge improvements. What you are probably looking at improvement in, though, is comfort. Uh, the previous earphones uh, really hurt my ears almost from the first minute and a half in. Uh, these ones, you know, probably take a little bit longer before you start getting some ear discomfort. Uh, they do sound good. They are, uh, I'll say to make this pun intended, ergonomic uh, for, your, uh, for your ears. Uh, so the audio is actually going directly into the ear canal as opposed to having to bounce around before it went uh, straight on in. So is it worth 30 bucks? Yeah, I don't know. You might be better off seeing if you could spend uh, $30 on perhaps a pair of over-the-ear headphones to get an improved audio experience. Uh, it's decent, but it's not absolutely outstanding. Uh, but if you want a free pair of headphones that comes bundled with your iPhone or your iPod Touch, uh, these are going to be a great option. It certainly will work for making phone calls, and of course you can use it to control the volume uh, as well. So what do you guys think? Worth 30 bucks? You'd rather just have them bundled into something, or you have no desire to pick these guys up whatsoever. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you in the next video.